Welcome back. We're here talking to my Ryan about stuff. But I don't know what's up with you guys. It's so odd that you would forget. Because you're weird. Yes, I remember. I remember now. Things didn't work out too well at my new home, so I came to garden at the age of 10. That was when I first noticed Cypher and Squirrel. Cypher and Squirrel were always fighting. Yeah, because they just always used to break us up. Yes, that's right. Cypher was a kid who always needed to be the center of attention, but Squall always used to ignore him. But eventually they would end up fighting. Squall would, could easily have walked away from it, but always took up the challenge. He should have just ignored him, but Squall, almost in tears, would say, I gotta do my best for myself, or else I won't be able to see Sis. I guess I was trying to take Sis, I mean alone's place. I tried, but to no available. That's probably it! <laughs> Even after becoming an instructor, I couldn't stop thinking about Squall. I thought it was love. I had to hide my feelings because I was an instructor, but I could, I've come to realize it wasn't. Jesus, this is going around in circles. It was my childhood feelings as a big sister that lingered. Oh, oh well. Look into the sea. Yes. I can't remember. The orphanage was located... <laughs> oh, oh, yo! <laughs> this is getting out of hand. We're forgetting way too much. Go talk to Quista. She seemed like she was in shock. Nah, she's just lonely. There. Uh, misunderstood love. Actually, I had completely given up when Renoa came into the picture. Hey! It must be the same for Cypher. I'm sure Cypher has forgotten his childhood too, but whenever he sees Squall, his inner feelings start to boil and... They have sex! <laughs> and that is that why he's always picking fights with Squall? Why is it that we forgot? We grew up together as kids, how's that possible? How about this? The price we pay for using GF or Guardian Forces. The GF provides us with its power, but the GF makes its own place inside our brain. So you're saying that the area is, is where our memories are stored? No, that's just a rumor of the GF critics are spreading. So if we keep relying on the GF, we won't be able to remember a lot of things? Wait, you just said... Quizzes just said no, it's just critics, they don't actually have any proof. And now you're just saying, yeah, actually it's probably that. There's no way Headmaster Sid would allow such a dangerous thing. Then how is it that I remember while everyone else has forgotten? Well, in my case, I hadn't junctioned a GF until recently. That's why I remember a lot more than you guys. How about you, Selfie? Your first experience with the GF was when you came to Blam Garden, right? Yeah. gave up our memories in exchange for power. Is it because of the GF that we forgot? If that's why other G other forces refrain from using GF? There are some things we're better off not remembering, especially when your life resolves around battles. I have a confession to make! When I was 12, I went on an outdoor training session. I found a GF inside one of the monsters I defeated. I junctioned that GF for a while, so I have experience with GF too. But, but it's really weird. I can't remember the name of that GF. It must be the GF's fault. What should we do? Actually, I want to know who that GF is. Look at, look at Squall's face. He's got like a weird curved grin as though he's like a cat face. What the hell? What should we do? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? So what do you want to do now? You want to stop using GF? As long as we continue fighting, we're indebted to the powers of the GF. If there's a price I have to pay for that, I'll gladly pay it. Hey, I know, let's all keep a diary. That way we'll always have something to remind us. Are you sure that's what you want? Maybe that's for the best. Yeah, I don't care if I forget about my childhood when Cypher used to pick on me. What's important to me now is having the power to protect my parents and Blam. They adopted me, there's no way I'm letting go of that power. Hey. Do you remember a matron? She was always wearing black. Let's see. Matron, dressed in black. She's the... Very kind. Long black hair. Yes, I really admired her. Wait, I just pictured her face and... I see a resemblance. Matron, they look alike. 
Look alike? Nah, that's not it. Matron's name is a dear Kramer. Or oh, Kramer. Matron is the sorceress a dear. Bum bum bum. Another plot rock. He's more like a boulder this time. Matron, sorceress a dear. Why is the matron? That's actually kind of cool without any music. Why? You're wondering why Matron would take over a country or fire missiles and whatnot? At this point, we probably wouldn't comprehend it even if we talked about it. You're probably right. Hear me out. Seed and garden were all Matron's idea, right? I'm not a seed, and I, but I share the same feeling with all of you. Seeds are supposed to fight the sorceress, right? This is strange. That's right, it was when I was being tortured by Cypher, he wanted to know what Seed was. Matron should know, but Matron is Sorcerer's idea. That's no denying that. What does this all mean? Squall, are you listening? No, I've already gone into my own brain again. So, like, this is what I wanted to say. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I understand what Renault is saying. I understand, but I'm still gonna fight. But I want to stay true to everything I've stood for. I'm sure it's the same for everyone. That's why I thought it'd be best if everyone knew we, we would have to face Matron. You all heard this before. How life has infinite possibilities. I don't believe that one bit. There weren't many paths for me to choose. Sometimes there would only be one. From the limited moment possibilities I face, the choices I made have brought me this far. That's why I value the path I chose. I want to be hold true to the path that had to be taken. I know our opponent is Matron, whom we all love very much. We might lose something very important on account of the GF. But I don't mind. It's not like I drifted here on the tides of fate. I'm here because I chose to be here. And more importantly, we all grew up together. But due to various circumstances, we were all separated. As a kid, you couldn't really go out on your own. There were no other paths to take. All I did was just cry. But... But somehow, we're together again. Just like old times, toughs, though a lot's changed. We're not kids anymore. We're strong enough to take care of ourselves. Make our own decisions. We're confronting a big one right now. Do we have to fight Matron or not? I say we fight. Shoot for a common goal. Hey, at least it'll keep us together a little longer. Yeah, let's do it. We can't run from her for the rest of our lives. It's just such a bummer. I can't believe we have to fight Matron. I know, but Zell's right. We can't run from her forever. Renoa. It's up to you. We're going to fight. I think it's the only way we can move on with our lives. If that makes us any sense at all, come with us. I'm sure that's what everybody wants. This probably makes her feel even worse. It's like, they're going even faster now. Look, look! A gift from the fairies, apparently. No, it's because you're in the mountains. It's snowing in the mountains. Whoa, big surprise. That's also a good thing too, because it's winter now, so. Yo, you want to go check out Adia's orphanage? I wonder what it's like now. We might find a clue. Clue? You mean as to why Matron turned out like this? It probably has to do with something that's happened in the past, but the past is the past. It's over. Done with. Despite what truth we find, it's not going to change the present. But... I want to see too. I don't know what we'll find, but let's search for Adia's house. We're going to have to stop here and then continue the next episode where we're talking to Renoa about stuff.